Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to y'all about freezing fresh corn on the cob. So one thing that you see a lot of if you buy fresh and local produce is you can buy a good amount for a really good price. And so sometimes I find myself buying too much. Um, or maybe you have your own garden at home and you have a surplus of corn and you've run out of people to give it to or to come and get it. Um, so what do you do with it? Well, you can actually freeze your corn for use later in the year. So first thing we're going to talk about um, to prep your corn is, hus you guys get the husk off, right? And these right here are called the silks. So we don't want any of that because those aren't fun to eat, right? You're going to make sure to snap off the end right there. All those silks right there. We don't want any of that in our corn. I just got a nice trash bag right here. To catch everything so I don't make a mess. So always remember before handling any food you do need to wash your hands um, wash dry before you touch any food that might be eaten later on and then we as well went through and made sure our kitchen and countertops were clean um, before we started any prep Sometimes you'll get these really tiny little pieces of silk, and it's okay if it's not 100% um, all of it gone. You just want as much gone as possible so that it doesn't um, get in your teeth. It's very stringy, not very comfortable. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is, so this top right here, you can see where it's kind of immature, didn't grow out right through there with the nice big kernels. So we're going to actually, we're going to cut that off and even it up. We'll just chuck that in our scrap bag and there you have it. So that's the first step. We had about 13 years of corn to go through. So once we got about halfway through those, we went ahead and set our pot on the bowl because in order to properly freeze our corn, we need to blanch it first, which is going to depend on the cob size. It will blanch it for seven to 11 minutes. So as you can see, our water is at a nice bowl. So we're going to put in our first ears. You can um, have these if you'd like. Be careful when placing your cobs in your water because you do not want to splash yourself. Um, you might want to use tongs if you need to. Um, but we're just going to gently place them in there so that they don't splash us. And depending on the size of the pot, that's going to depend how many ears of corn you can put. I don't want to over, um, crowd them. So I'm just going to put the four in there right now since they're whole. Um, and we're going to set our timer. These are relatively small ears, so they're going to go for seven minutes. So once our corn cobs have reached the seven to 11 time minute, we're gonna transfer them with using tongs because they are gonna be hot into a bowl or if your ice water bath is close enough, you could directly transfer them in there. But we're using our sink, which is just a little ways from the stove. So I'm gonna transfer them into a bowl and then into our ice water bath that you see here. So after your corn cobs have sat in your ice water bath for a minute or two we're going to transfer them out and we do want them to be dry before we put them in the freezer pack so I've just taken a cooking sheet with you could use a towel or anything like that I just use paper towels um, and we're just gonna set these guys because give a leave a little space between them shake them off and then we'll take another paper towel or you, like I said, you can use a regular towel and we're just going to pat them dry. 
on the top but that way these guys will dry off we're gonna let them sit and dry before we start the next process something that's really important to do before we freeze our corn cobs is I always label the date that they were frozen as well as I like to keep track of where I get the corn from so this just has the name of the farm and what type of corn it was and that way I know if it froze real well um, if I liked the corn those kind of things um, but it's just good information to have on your bag I'm using a food saver today which means I have these cool little bags um, you can see the bottom sealed and we use it um, it'll vacuum seal our produce and so you can also use freezer bags as long as they're rated to go in the freezer, you just wanna make sure you get as much air out as possible. And there we have our sealed uh, bags of corn that will be going into our freezer and they are, will be ready to eat whenever we're ready for them.